As Australia's peak scientific body, CSIRO is committed to delivering great science and innovative solutions for industry, society and the environment. The CSIRO Geothermal Project is part of this commitment. The project aims to demonstrate the viability of using geothermal energy on a large scale in Australia. It is a renewable energy initiative that will harness the cooling qualities of underground water to establish one of the first metropolitan geothermal cooling systems in Australia. The project's groundwater cooling system will be installed at Perth's Australian Resources Research Centre, known as ARC. It is there that the technology will be applied to the Pawsey supercomputer. Supercomputers generate large amounts of heat due to their high energy consumption and traditionally use evaporative cooling towers to disperse heat. Given the supercomputer's close proximity to the geothermal resource, this is a perfect practical opportunity to test the viability of geothermal energy. This is the first time a project of this scale is being done in Australia. The project is known as groundwater cooling and it works by extracting natural cold groundwater out of the ground and re-injecting it in another place and it's been used for supercomputer cooling. The groundwater cooling system works by accessing water from a depth of around 100 metres from the Mullaloo Aquifer, located beneath the Ark building. This groundwater has an ambient temperature of around 21 degrees Celsius. The water is pumped through an above ground heat exchanger to cool the supercomputer. The heated groundwater is then returned to the same aquifer via downstream re-injection. Additional cool water injection bores will also be used to manage the underground distribution of heat. The system does not consume any water, making it environmentally friendly. It also performs reliably around the clock, regardless of weather or season. CSIRO estimates that using groundwater cooling for the Pawsey supercomputer will save approximately 14.5 million litres of water in the first two years of operation, which is equivalent to leaving a tap running constantly for three and a half years. As our energy needs increase and our water resources become ever scarcer, we need to continually look for innovative solutions to these problems. Groundwater cooling could be part of that solution. The technology has the potential to replace cooling towers in buildings all over Perth, which would be an enormous step in establishing Perth as one of the world's first geothermally cooled cities. The CSIRO Geothermal Project is part of the organisation's strategy to enable lower cost and lower risk energy options for Australia's future.